Okay, I left out one of the most important things that we were supposed to get from this lab, and that was to help you understand, again, where that bottom number on the periodic table comes from. And so if you're looking at our data here, and we're trying to figure out, well, what would that average mass be? Then you need to look no farther than your average mass, but we don't want it for the specific isotopes. That would be like the same as saying hydrogen one, hydrogen two, hydrogen three. We don't want the specific ones. We want the one that would be on the periodic table. And so that would be this one right here. So if candium were actually on the periodic table, it would have however many protons. Let's just make it have 120 something. And then we would now have a mass of 1.33. Now that's not very feasible that that could ever happen since protons are part of the average mass. Let's erase that, that doesn't even make sense. Okay. We'll just pretend that it has three protons, although we know that that's actually lithium. But anyways, so that bottom number, the average atomic mass then, we were able to find that for our candium sample, and it is 1.33. Again, that is the average mass of the total isotopes. So since the average mass included the mega M&Ms, the Skittles, and the M&Ms, hopefully that will help you remember that the total mass on the periodic table includes all of the different isotopes. It's all candium, so it's all whatever the element is, but they do have different numbers of neutrons.